First of all, guys, uh, I'm going to be doing this video alone. No Dirty Dan today. Uh, I'm recording this one at about 4 in the morning, as you can see below. And that means he has to go to work in like one hour from now. He is asleep, I guarantee you. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at a game called The Maze VR. But not this one. Uh, this one's, this one's, this one's like cute. And like, you, know, you play basketball. I don't know why it's called The Maze VR. We're not playing this one. We're playing this one. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> um, I don't know why I said playing. Uh, this is a review. This is this is something I don't do often. This is a review done on purpose because I was actually contacted by the developer of this game after my last video. Have you been? Um, sometime in the past since then, uh, to go ahead and take a look at this. He thought I might like it, and I did. I do. Oh yeah, awesome review. Awesome. The basic premise is that you sneak or fight your way through a randomly generated maze following a set variety of themes, uh, while evil is lurking around every corner ready to jump out and uh, rip your balls off. You have limited resources that you find more of as you explore the dungeons. They come in the form of health kits, uh, extra clips for various guns, sometimes just individual bullets. You're looking at fighting things like goblins, spiders from Ocarina of Time, orcs from Warhammer, I presume, and many other scary things that I could hear but not see. Um, most of my time was spent trying to get through the levels as fast as possible because when I was approached about this game, it was not openly made aware to me that uh, it's very scary. <laughs> Now, originally, I wasn't going to have a lot to say about this game. I was going to look it over, do my standard, um, you know, watch the trailer, react kind of thing, boot it up a little bit. But I'm going to show you a timestamp here. I'm going to I'm going to show you a timestamp here. Okay, I played this game for the first time in January. It's been a month exactly. I've not just been procrastinating. I've been observing the developer of this game because more than I want to show you the the guns and the swords and Danny almost punching a hole in my table. <laughs> the dude pin the dude benches like upwards of 300 pounds and I gave him a punching simulator. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Th this update came out uh, two weeks after I got the game. And keep in mind, there's been an update like every day, like every day. And, and an update comes out and he's like, oh yeah, I just added an entirely new theme. <laughs> uh, he takes polls. He's all about reacting to what the community wants. Um, all the reviews are positive because he takes your ideas, he implements them. Um, uh, points, point taken. Uh, scout, a scouting system now happens with the enemies. I'm not going to fucking get into the, like, the nitty gritty here. I'm just going to show you. Look at this one. Cut right here. Cut right here. Look at this patch. Look... Look, he was just, he was just like, yeah, by the way, now the enemies have feelings. Now they go, ooh, they fucking, they fucking <laughs> react to getting shot in the face, which is good because he made it so the game, rather than being able to clear the levels like I did, uh, he made it so that there is now a stealth system in which there are scouts lurking about that if they see you, they will drag you to hell like one of those fucking hands from Zelda. He's so wholesome. He, he put it on sale. He's been giving away copies of this for free. Uh, speaking of which, he gave me three free copies to give away to you guys. Like, the, look at my sub count. Look at, look at who I am. He's like, dude, get the word out. Oh my god, now you can customize your sockets. The dude's amazing. Had to give him a like on that one. Uh, speaking of likes, um, if you like uh, when indie developers put their... You know, put the grind on... What, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. When you like when people make good stuff, leave a like. If you like this good stuff, leave a like. And if you're gonna like it, do me a favor and subscribe it. I'm trying to hit a goal. Uh, I'd like to hit a thousand by the end of this year. And I think cool people like you are how we're gonna get there. So, uh, speaking of which, I don't know why I'm not fucking saying this. Uh, I can't just magically give this stuff away. Uh, I need you guys to actually be subscribed to be in the drawing. Um... Oh my god, this is going to sound thing. I have learned. I have learned, okay? I have learned recently why every YouTuber tells you to do these things uh, when they do a giveaway. 
And I know most of the time giveaways are buying subscribers, but the dev wants this to happen. It's not me, all right? The dev wants to give out to people who like the game. He wants you to hear my review and then go ahead and enter in to get a copy or buy a copy yourself if you like it. Um, I can't find out who's in the drawing unless I can search your comments and I need you to be subscribed for that. And I need you in the Discord so that I can reach out to you and give you your prize. So there's that. I'm probably going to re-record this whole thing. Uh, bibbity boobity, bobbity bibbity. Amazing. Um, what the fuck? I've been ranting. I literally have been struggling to get like three minutes of this script read. And <sighs> I just ranted. For, I'm going to drag this on screen. I've ranted for 14 minutes straight in this take. Just, just talking about how impressed I am with this guy's work ethic. As the dev is openly looking for feedback on his game, um, as evident by his insane amount of updates, I believe this game would benefit greatly from a critical hit type system. A game that does this really well is Blade and Sorcery, where even if you are low on resources such as health or ammunition, you know that eight bullets with enough skill can equal eight kills uh, to help you on your way. Right now, the enemies jump back to life if they do not have all of their health depleted. I love that there's a takedown system where you can really just lay into them, and they feel it, and they fall down. Um, they spring right back up, though, right now, and I would really, really love to have that feeling in the back of my head while I'm crawling these dungeons that if I clutch it, I'll make it through. As of right now, it feels like spamming is what's being rewarded. Um, whether that be the fastest possible punches you can throw or just emptying your entire clip into one guy because you know you're really not going to get a lot of mileage from that clip over the course of several enemies. That being said... <laughs> There better not be a fucking spider in here. If there's a spider in here, the video's over. I hear him dragging his cock along the walls. 